welcome back. It's that time again. June has been such a strange month. And I mean, realistically, that's par for the course because 2020 has been such a strange year, but time keeps on progressing. And that means it's another bullet journal setup. Uh, I am doing a theme that I've been interested in doing for a very long time, but I wasn't entirely sure how to execute. And this turned out, how do I want to say this? Not what I was expecting, but I love it. Does that make sense? I think so. The theme that I have gone with is a computer desktop theme. So it's sort of that, oh God, I, I have such difficulty describing this. It's like a aesthetic computer vibe, more unhelpful descriptors. Uh, <laughs> like, do you know what I'm talking about? I had such a difficult time trying to search for uh, reference imagery and like inspiration images. I'll link a couple of setups that did inspire this down in the description. Um, those were both very helpful for me in putting this together and figuring out how I wanted to do this, but I still can't, like, I have an image in my head of what is inspiring me and I cannot translate that into words to either describe it to you or search for something on Google. So that's, that's where we are with life. On this first spread, I did a couple, a few boxes, which are like the, the Windows boxes, like you open a new program in your computer. You know what I'm talking about. Please, please tell me you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm doing a very simple, small calendar and a, another uh, weekly, like a, a regular week because still got a lot of regular things happening even as the summer continues um, and I as you can see I'm doing a purple teal and or is it, is that a teal yeah a purple teal and blue color scheme which I think I have actually used before I really wanted to use colors that I don't use all the time so no yellow no like uh, sort of a, a warm yellow green uh, I don't use a lot of purple so I want, definitely wanted to use purple and I like the idea of doing a fully mild liner setup this month so that's that's what I was going for <laughs> and the thing that is such a small touch but that really ties it together for me is in the upper right hand corner the little icons for the actions you can take with a computer window and this is not in any way realistic at all but there's something about it that is just so aesthetically satisfying to me i guess i just really like this theme but it, there's there's something about it so as you can see, I've got my little calendar here, and then this long box on the left-hand side of the spread is my weekly schedule. So regular things happening Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. I am also incorporating a little bit more collage. Oh no, don't throw that away! Apologies. My toddler has figured out how to open the trash can in the kitchen and has been really enjoying the ability to throw things away even when they're not trash so that's my life sorry about that <laughs> as i was saying i got to go back to incorporating some collage in my bullet journal but in a very different style and i absolutely love it i am i'm really into this i've been feeling for a while both a desire to reincorporate collage into my bullet journal because in uh, June I didn't really do much. I didn't do any collaging at all in June actually. Um, but I was also feeling pretty stagnant with my collaging thus far this year because I, I do similar things in like the similar style over and over again and that's my brain just doesn't react well to that. So this is a very different style of collage. It's very clean and very simple, but still really fun. And 
it'll give me an opportunity to incorporate. I have a lot of printed out images from various places on the internet and I don't use them, but I would really like to. So this is an opportunity to do that a little bit. Moving on into the second spread of this setup, I am combining my mood tracker, my daily log, and my gratitude log all into one spread. So I've got two big boxes across both pages of the spread, as well as a smaller box for my mood tracking key. The way this is gonna work is I am filling this out like a chat log. And for every day, I'll write in a new chat bubble. Like this is a little example I made for you. The bubble color will represent my mood and the bubble contents will be something that I am grateful for that day and a quick little statement about how my day went, how I'm feeling on a given day. I have no, I know it looks really, really simple and plain right now, and I, I can't really do anything about that. I need the space to write stuff, but I'm, I'm excited about how this is going to come together. I also wanted to, to note something. I'm using the purple as like my, my primary window color. So like any windows that you have at the top have a different color in that top bar and then windows that are behind have a diff have a different one does that make sense please i don't even know what words are anymore but that's what i was going for is like the teal is the secondary color and the purple is the primary color even though the purple is used less because that's how computers work next i am doing another summer bucket list spread as the summer continues i want to continue being intentional about doing things that are fun and sort of related to the season even though there's a lot fewer options this year because this is the bizarre year i guess uh but it's it's really simple stuff like reading out on the deck or uh my kid just had their birthday and uh, one of their gifts was a kiddie pool so now there's a kiddie pool that lives out on the deck and not gonna lie pretty fun pretty nice lounging on the deck soaking in the sunlight in the kiddie pool it's it's pretty great so simple things like that that can be done still in quarantine um and i've i've actually been pretty successful in checking things off my summer bucket list in june but when i filmed this it was still only a little over halfway through june so there was time to achieve things so I didn't want to fill anything in yet. So this is again going to be a pretty simple looking spread in this video and it'll really come together as the month progresses. I tried something a little bit different on the spread. As you can see, I wanted to do like a bunch of stacked windows, which looks really cool, but it was such a pain to draw all of those lines and trying to get the spacing right. So I was supposed to do the same thing like inverted on the other side of the spread and I just gave up on trying to do that as you can see and didn't. So the, the left hand side is for my summer bucket list and then the right hand side is going to be memory keeping for my kid and that's that's pretty much it. It's a very simple spread. I like this is sort of what I was talking about. They look all of the spreads are very simple and very clean, very easy to do. And the the quote magic really happens as the month progresses and you fill things in. And that's actually all that I have in this setup. I'm keeping things really simple. I'm completely giving up on the habit tracker. I have not been using them. It has not been successful at all. I I'm taking a break from it. We need to reassess and figure out if we belong with each other or not. It's just, it's, it's not, it's not working. And that's, that's it. I am going to be doing one last spread in a different 
video for the readathon that I will be participating through the month of July. And otherwise, that's everything that I've got for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are doing well. And I will talk to you all later.